Hi, this is Max from FL Studio Tips, and today I will show you cool tricks to save CPU. So first thing before tricks is actually to update FL Studio to the newest version. From FL Studio 2004 there's a significant CPU reduction, so make sure to update it to the newest version. To start saving CPU, let's move to options and audio settings. And now you will need to set the device to ASIO for all or FL Studio ASIO. Unless you have external interfaces, you should also have like complete audio as your driver. The most important thing in saving CPU is actually the buffer length. The less we have, the more CPU user it will have. So you can have it as little as you want, but if you see your CPU sweating, just increase it. Next thing is to set priority to highest, then check all the marks in the CPU section. The most important are these two. In the mixer you can set the quality to point, but you probably won't see any difference. Also try messing up with these buttons right here and check if it's getting better. Second most important thing to do is go to project and set time based PPQ to 24. It will just not allow you to zoom that much into the project. Next one is about turning on smart disable. So let's go to tools, macros and switch Smart Disable for all plugins. It will just disable plugins with no in use, but if you have some reverb for example, it will cut after a few seconds, but don't worry, when rendering it won't happen. Next one is really handy and helpful in advanced stage of project. So if you have a lot of patterns, like here, you won't be able to say which instrument you didn't use and which sample you didn't use. So the handy trick is to go to Tools, Micros, select Unused Channels. It will mark all unused channels and then you go to channel options and delete selected. Now you're left with the samples. Samples are being storage in RAM, but it also can help you with performance. So let's go to tools, macros and select purge unused audio clips. As you can see, a lot of the clips have been deleted and that really can help you with overall performance. This one I got to know really late. If you open up the project, and it can be really big as this one, and actually when you close up the playlist, you can see all the plugins opened. So it can really take your CPU a lot, so the thing you need to do is hit F12. It will close up every plugin here, and I promise it will increase the performance. Don't worry, it will just close the windows, all the effects will stay the same. Next one is about two weeks old. As you can see here we are having a lot of stuff happening, but I'm not sure which plugin takes the most CPU. So let's go to view and plugin performance monitor. Now let's click on total. Now this plugin, Future Horse, which we have actually here, takes the most CPU. So the next tip is actually to mark the pattern that takes a lot of CPU and hit Ctrl Alt C to consolidate it. Now when I play it, as you can hear, we have no crackles at all. By the way, this is a template that you can get in the description below. The next trick is about using stock plugins. For example, you can't always use stock 5C instruments, but it's possible to make super cool and well mixed track only using stock 5C FX. And that's what we did in this template. We only have here stock plugins and it's well mixed and mastered. There's no need to use super fancy equalizers when you just need to boost the highs by 3 decibels unless you need to do some advanced type of stuff like mid-side EQing. Next one you can use when you are at mixing stage. For example, if I have my song mixed but I would like to make some slight changes to it, I can go to file, export it as WAV file, create new folder, save it here and set split mixer tracks. Then you can just drag all samples here and then you have all mixer tracks in separate audio. This is super important to have all of your mixer tracks properly named and labeled. The last but for sure not least trick is for Windows users. To make sure that your CPU is in running on full performance, you need to go to start, write power, go to additional power settings and set it to high performance. To make sure even more, you can go to change plan settings, advanced power settings and search for processor power management. Now set minimum and maximum processor state to 100%. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And I hope to see you soon in the next video.